All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Makakudash, double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace, salutations, and blessings to the hopeful elect pushing his truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the globe. Inner sincere hopes are being delivered in these last days. All right. Now, um, this is going to be a brief video, you know, Lord willing, it's edifying. Now, as you can see here, you know, this vehicle in front of me, it had um, triple four in the um, license plate. And, um, you know, that's spiritual because I was just thinking of a, um, a video topic to go into and one that came to mind was um the title of be humble or be humbled all right be humble or be humbled okay and um you know that's the spirit you know that we ought to um embody you know in this truth you know that's 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 definitely a trait that we should pray Unto you, how about Shimmy Awashai, you know, to put upon us, you know, is the quality, is the trait, you know, of being humble, you know, being of a lowly mind, understanding that we are nothing without Yahweh Shai, and understanding that this is not about us, this is not about, you know, vain glory, this is not about um, exalting yourself, looking a certain way. This is about pushing this word. And this is about exhorting Yahweh why Yahweh Shai, not exhorting ourselves. All right? And now more than ever, you know, that vibration has to be um, embodied, man. Okay? Because it's all about exalting the names of Yahweh why Yahweh Shai and pushing this word. It ain't about magnifying yourself. Okay? The scriptures say, you know, to take the low seat. All right? And the scriptures also say to mark the perfect man. And the perfect man is Yahweh Shai. All right? The perfect man is Yahweh Shai. And if you mark the perfect man, and when you read through these scriptures and you analyze the way Yahweh Shai got down, his traits, and how he dealt with particular situations, all right? Yahweh Shai was meek. Yahweh Shai was humble. Okay? And Yahweh Shai made it very clear that he came to do the work of his father. All right? That's why he was here. All right? His purpose was made known. He always exalted the father. He always, um, you know, at every opportunity, exalted his father, Yahweh. Okay? And it's the same with us. With every opportunity, what, what are we supposed to be doing? We're supposed to be exalting the names of Yahweh. Why Yahweh Shai? And we say Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai, all right? Because it's got to be through Yahweh Shai, all right? You, we can't step to the Father, man, okay? By exalting Yahweh Shai, by default, we are exalting the Father, who is Yahweh. So that's the order of things, okay? That is the order of things, man, and that's the spirit that we're supposed to be pushing, all right? We're not pushing our own agenda, okay? Not, not pushing what you want to do or how you think things should be done. You got a falling line. You got a falling order. The scriptures say all things must be done in decency and in order. Okay? There's an order established upon the earth that you must fall into. And if you don't fall into it, the Lord will get rid of you. Okay? If you don't fall into the order, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai will get rid of you, man. Will do away with you. Okay? Because like I, well, like I quoted, and I'll quote it again. All things must be done in decency and in order. You know? So this ain't about us. This ain't about, you know, our feelings. This ain't about, you know, our our um our intents. Okay? This is about pushing the words of Yahweh Bar Shimi Shai. This is about making sure that the true doctrine of Yahweh Bar Shimi Shai is pushed out there okay and we've seen examples you know of um you know this recent situation with nate okay you know the recent oil spill <laughs> as some as some brothers have been saying okay where he's um, now saying that 
you know, Edomites are going to make a, a comeback <laughs> in the kingdom, you know, that, which is crazy. Okay. And that is, that is an oil leakage, man. All right. The Lord is taking away, all right, chunks of what he knew aforetime, you know, out of his spirit. And that's how the scriptures speak about them waxing worse and worse. We're actually witnessing that in real time, you know, with Nate. And we've been witnessing it for many years. All right. Every year it gets worse and worse. You know, the information that he be coming out with, the breakdowns that he be coming out with. You just be thinking, damn, you know, you got to fear you how about shimmy our shy, man. That's why the scriptures say the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Okay, and you gotta pray that Psalms 51. You gotta pray to your Bar Shimmy Awa Shai not to take away your Holy Spirit. Okay, and you have a Holy Spirit if you have, you know, the 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 the, the, the pure doctrine of your Bar Shimmy Awa Shai within you, and you believe in it. Okay, but then when you start um, incorporating, you know, doctrines of devils into the mix, that's when your spirit is now tainted. Okay, that's when that oil starts leaking out of you. That's when that oil starts to become rancid. You know, rancid oil is, you know, oil that is gone off. You know, it's no longer useful. It's rancid. It's off. Okay, and that's what's happening, you know, to, um, you know, these guys out here, man. The oil that they have is now becoming rancid, man, because they've, they've, they've fused it with doctrines of devils. Okay, they've tainted what they once knew. All right, and that's a fearful thing because that can happen to anyone, you know? So these things are set up to really instill fear into us, man, and make us know that, you know, that, that can happen at any time. So we got to pray unto you, how about Shimmy Shai, you know, that Psalms 51, you know? Take not thy Holy Spirit away from me, man, you know? And that's the Psalm of David, you know, our King, King David, man. King David also said, you um, unite my heart to fear thy name, you know? And when you go into the Hebrew word heart, it goes into the um, the, the, the Hebrew word uh, lab, which means your your mind, okay? So unite, unite my mind, you know, to fear thy name, all right? You're supposed to fear the name, the names of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, man, you know? And that's ultimately why a lot of these men you know, be tainting the words of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh is because they have no fear. You know, they don't fear the Lord. Okay? But they're going to start fearing, you know, when judgment comes down. But that's when it's too late. You know, that's when it's too late, man, because you can be humbled, all right, to a point where it's not onto your destruction, all right? And the Lord will allow you to repent. But then you can be humbled to the point of destruction, man. Okay? You can be humbled to the point where the Lord just wipes you off of the earth, man. And that's why the scriptures say it's a terrible thing to fall into the hands of the living power, Yahweh Shimmy Yahweh Shai. Roughly paraphrasing, man. So you don't want to get humbled to the point of destruction, you know? Which being in this truth, you know, is a, is a, is a, is a, is a thing of um, humiliation and being humbled. But you don't want to be humbled onto destruction, okay? But as we can see, you know, the Lord is, 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 is executing judgment in these last days, man. And the gates of repentance are becoming narrower and narrower as the days and the weeks and the months go by. And now we're starting to see, you know, heavy judgment roll out. We're now we're starting to see that the Lord is no longer winking at particular transgressions. Okay? The Lord is just executing a straight judgment because, hey, this word has been out for a long time now, man. Okay? So as the scriptures say, you know, judgment must begin at the house of Yehawah Bar Shimi Shai. All right? So you're going to continue to see Jake just getting judged out here. You know? Jake just getting judged. Jake getting taken out. You know? The um, elder Manat Zakba, you know, he just re-uploaded a video all right, I, I forget what the title was, but basically going into, um, you know, some heavy judgment that befell an ex-GMS member, man. You know, and I believe he was run over by an 18-wheeler. Okay, after he, um, you know, stopped going out there and teaching the word. But check that video out, you know, he, he uploaded it a few hours ago, man. 
you know and if, if, if these if these things don't instill fear in you then there's really no hope you know you're gonna have to just feel the wrath of your how about shimmy how shy about shimmy kaku dash man okay it's all about being humble before you get humbled man all right and you gotta pray to your how about shimmy how shy for that fear all right you gotta pray to your how about shimmy how shy all right to increase your faith okay hey the scriptures say that uh moses all right Masha was meeker than any man all right so what do we have to boast about man we, we got nothing to boast about we ain't shit without you how about shimmy how shy we need salvation we're in we're in the um we're in the worst case scenario right now man we need help okay ain't nothing to boast about the only thing we boast we boasting is the fact that we know you how about shimmy how shy you know? This ain't a thing of us. This ain't a thing of what we can do or our abilities, man. You know, having that spirit is going to get you killed. All right? So I'm going to cut it off there, man. Lord willing, this uh, video was edifying. And until the next time, I'll say shalom.